Hello everyone, the peace of Christ. Um, today I'm going to expose this liar. He's, uh, he he calls himself a Bible scholar. Um, well, um, a Bible scholar studies as far as I know. A Bible scholar studies the Bible and finds out what is the mystery in it and what is uh, the important lesson from there. He does always, a Bible scholar always does exegesis, not eisegesis, like this one. So let's listen and let's what what what's what's wrong with this guy? Okay, let's let's listen to him. Let's take a look at another biblical contradiction. Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion to fit for this video. It's a black and white version of Jim Lee's X Men number eleven. If we look in Exodus six three, we have the God of Israel introducing themselves a second time to Moses. And they say, I was known to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai, but my name Adonai, yod heh vav -Hey, the Tetragrammaton, I did not make known to them. And so this text quite clearly is indicating that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did not know the name Adonai. And this conflicts with the book of Genesis. In Genesis 4.24, we have pretty early in the history of... Genesis 4.24 was the earliest... The earliest he says, look, Genesis 4.24 was, remember this verse, was the earliest. Humanity, the name of Adonai being known among humans well before Abraham. And then in Genesis 15.7, God introduces themselves to Abraham explicitly as Adonai. They say, I am Adonai who brought you up from Ur of the Chaldees to give you this land to possess. And in verse 8, Abraham responds, O Lord Adonai, Yodhi okay. Bavhe, the Tetra... Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Um, so, now, um, let's go to uh, 6. Let's go to 6 now. 6-3. Um, what it, we, we see is... And um, uh, let's go to 6, uh, Exodus 6-2. And God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham and to Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of the Almighty, God Almighty. But my name, Jehovah, I was I not known to them. It was not known to them. My name, Jehovah, was not known to them. Remember this. This is, it was not, I made, I did not make known to them the name Jehovah. Jehovah. But they know El Shaddai, they know other names, but this name they did not know. Okay, that's what the, 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 the what God is doing. So, this is a continuation with Moses because you have to understand this. You have to go to other part of the Bible, which is uh, 3, Exodus 3, uh, when the Lord God appeared to Abraham, I mean, uh, to Moses. And A Moses asked, what's your name? What's your name? Okay, now let me, let me show you. Here is a point, remember, 3.14, Exodus 3.14, Vayomer Elohim El Moshe, God said to Moses, Ehiye Asher Ehiye. This is the first revelation. It was not known to Moses, no, nor to Abraham, nor to Jacob, nor to anyone in the Bible. It was not known. It was not known. But they they say that name. But this Ehiye, Esher Ehiye, was not known. I will be what I will be, who I will be, rather. I will be who I will be. I am who I am. I am. In English, in King James, I am that I am. Okay, let me see. Let me show you. Um, yeah, that I am that I am. This one. Ehiye, Asher Ehiye. Did Abraham know this? No. Did Moses know this? No. Did um, uh, Jacob know this? No. 
These no our noses? No. Now, let me give you an, an, an um, if you can understand an, an, an analogy or a an, uh, similar, uh, an example. For example, I work in, in, in a government, uh, I'm a government employee. And uh, I work with my colleagues. And then they ask me first, Araiga, what's your name? The first day, what's your name? My name is Araiga. Okay. Oh, Araiga, Araiga, Araiga. And then they know. And then after some time, we have a meeting like, can you speak about about you, who you are? Uh, you know, can you tell us? And then I say in the meeting, I stood up and say, well, my name is Orega. I'm originally from Ethiopia. And then the meaning of the name Orega is peacemaker and this and this and this. So now the people know what the intention of my name is known to them. Why my mom called me? What the meaning of the name? What is the substance in the name was now explained to the people. But people was calling me before that because, you know, they heard my name and then they, they start to call me. Even, you know, sometimes people ask you, what's, the, what's, the, what's your name? Yeah, this. What does it mean? Well, my name, the meaning of my name is this. So you explain it to it. God didn't say, they did not say that name, that, that name was not, you know, they, they didn't have, they didn't discover that name. No. In, first of all, he said Genesis 4.24. No, that's a liar. He's a lying. He doesn't know. He has been studying uh, religion. Religion. The religion of Hindu. The religion. Buddhism. Sikh, Sikhism. Um, Judaism. That he has been studying that. That's what he's a scholar. He's a scumbag. Ele tuledot. Ele tuledot. Hashamayim v'ha'arad. This is a generation of the uh, the heaven and the earth. Behibar um, in the day. Behibar uh, um uh, when they were created. Asa asher asai Adonai. This is the first time. Genesis. Two, four was the first time. Before that, Elohim, Elohim. Genesis chapter one, the whole is by Yomer, Elohim, Elohim, Elohim. But now, what comes? Adonai. Even he didn't know. He didn't know that. It's not four twenty four, two twenty four, but two, two four was the first time the name Adonai appeared or Jehovah appeared. So these people. There is no contradiction. There is no contradiction. Because in 6, God is giving him more explanation. What? Okay, let's go. Um, let's, let's read more uh, on, on 6. Okay, what is this name? What's the, what, what does this name mean? Or what does it to, to do? Because it is the name, my covenant. Covenant. This is a name of covenants, the goddess name of covenants, salvation, redemption. Okay? It's several times. So read this book, the whole the covenant with me. Covenant, covenant. This is a covenant, covenantal name of God that God used. And uh, now he's explaining to Moses. He's telling him the importance of the name, the revelation of the name, even if has been called before, but not known to them. Means they don't know what inside the name Jehovah mean. They don't know Ehiye, Asher Ehiye. They didn't know that. Now I am revealing it to you. I'm revealing it to you. Now I am explaining to you what my name is, what the meaning of the name is. And I'm sending you to the children of Israel because I will keep my covenant and bring them, redeem these people out of the land of bondage, out of the land of slavery from Egypt. That is the message of God. But this wicked, uh, he, you know, these, these are, he's called, do you know who these are? Let me tell you. There are Americans, British and all this. They call them, the Bible calls them 
uh, uh, Nephilim. Nephilim. They are called who? Nephilim. Nephilim. Genesis 4. Genesis uh, 6 4. Let me, let me tell you. Ha Nephilim hayu ha arid bayamim hahim. In those days, Nephilim were on the face of the earth. Nephilim. What were they? And, and there were giants. No giants. That's not the King James did not translate it very well. There were Nephilims in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare, bare children to them, and the same became mighty. Oh, a scholar, a scholar of the Bible, mighty men, which were of old, men of known. No, that is what it says, Anshe Hashem, men of known, Hanshe Hashem, men of names. Shem means in, 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 in Hebrew, name. So these are great names, but they are lost. Nephilim means the one who are fallen, the fallen one. The fallen one is called Nephilim. What, fallen from what? Not to, to the ground, but fallen from the grace of God. They are lost because they don't know the Bible. They just have big names because they studied about the world religion. And now I am a Bible scholar and I am telling you there is contradiction and there is inconsistency. You better study, shut up and study the word of God. Okay? You cannot say that. All right. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit rough. But these people have to be stopped because they are misleading so many. And their distraction is, you know, flying like eagle and coming to them. But the Lord God is wonderful. The Lord is great. God is the one. Jehovah is the one who saved us. Jehovah is the one who redeemed us. Jehovah is the one who gave us life. Yes. That's his covenant in him. Thank you for watching. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.